Good evening. In this video, which is a sequel to my previous video about German weapons, I will be talking about some British weapons of the World War II era. Now, in the last episode, I said that Germany didn't have any revolvers in the Second World War, which is still correct, but they had automatics. This is the exact opposite. Britain had multiple revolvers, but no automatics, at least none that were locally produced, but they bought M1911s from the United States. But anyway, you know the deal, small scalper to the largest revolvers. The main revolver used by the British was the Wibbly Mark VI. It was a standard World War I and World War II officer's firearm. It used a 4.455 Wibbly cartridge and fired six rounds in a rotating cylinder. It's a regular revolver. It could be re reloaded with a speed loader, but that was mainly used during World War I in very limited numbers, or by loading one bullet at a time. Generally, officers that were forced to fire all six rounds were in very bad situations, so reloading all six bullets was surprisingly rare. Submachine guns. Britain needed a small, cheap submachine gun to replace the expensive to buy a Thompson M181 because of the economy, because the economy was doing really badly because of the blitz. He came up with the Sten series of submachine guns. Each unit cost just ten pounds to produce. The Sten was an open bolt submachine gun that fired thirty-two rounds and used a nine mm cartridge. Five versions were produced and three saw much use. The main one was the Sten Mark II. It was used by airborne troops and commandos. The Stenmark III was an improvement, but could not be used with a suppressor. The suppressor on the Stenmark II was so great that there was a story of General, uh, of General Otto Skirty that tried to show the benefits of suppressors to high commands, and so arranged a meeting in a park at night and secretly fired all 32 rounds of a suppressed Mark II behind the backs of the political people. Even, and they did not believe it did, even when he showed them the empty shell casings on the ground as evidence. Next was the Stenmark V, which proved to be more popular with the group because of the improved wooden grips. Rifles. At the start of the war, the British used the outdated short magazine Lienfield No. 1 Mark III bolt-action rifles, first produced in 1895, and used as a standard bolt-action rifle to become worse than British troops during World War I. In 1941, they realized they needed something, something new, so they came up with the Lienfield No. 4 Mark I. The Commonwealth forces, however, still used the SMLE even after the war. Now for my favourite part, machine guns. For light machine guns, we have the Bren LMG, my favourite firearm of the war. The, now the name Bren was chosen for a reason. You see, it was inspired by Czechoslovak design, the ZBVS VZ26. Uh, ZB stands for Lechke Kulomet, light machine gun, and VS stands for Vzor, model. So, light machine gun model 26. It was produced in Brno, that's where the first part of the Bren comes from. Uh, Bren is B BR comes from Brno and EN comes from Enfield, which where it was produced. He fired the standard point three hundred three British rounds at five hundred rounds per minute. They were used extensively by both army personnel and airborne troops from nineteen forty to two thousand and six. Yes, you heard it correctly, two thousand and six, and they're still making them in India. The Lewis gun. This was the, f the, f the first designed in the United States, but not used. It was, however, adopted by the British in nineteen fourteen. It was a standard World War One British light machine gun. They were f used in tanks and armoured cars during the First World War, but used in, in small numbers, most notably by the Long Range Desert Group, who often get confused with the Special Air Service because they assisted the SAS in many missions. It also fired the .303 British at 600 rounds per minute and had a rotating 47-round pan magazine. 202,000 were produced from 1913 to 1942. 150,000 of them were in World War II. Alright, that rounds up the most notable weapons I can think of used by the British in World War II. If you like this video, don't hesitate to give a like and subscribe. It's free and you can always take it back if you change your mind or get tired of seeing my face. This was a shorter video because uh, the British didn't have as many weapons as the Germans. But the next one about the Americans will be a bit longer, I hope. Anyway, that's it for this video. Cheerio!